Welcome to Medicine Master Academy, and today we will discuss a common pulmonary clinical case you might encounter in your exam about pulmonary embolism. A 27-year-old female presents to the emergency department with a two-week history of progressive shortness of breath and a recent onset sharp chest pain that worsens with inspiration. She has a known medical history of systemic lupus erythematosus diagnosed two years ago. On examination, she appears anxious, is tachypneic with a respiratory rate of 26 per minute and has decreased breath sounds on the left side. She also complains of painful sores in her mouth and a persistent rash on her face. A D-dimer test is positive. Her ECG shows sinus tachycardia with no acute ischemic changes. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? A. Myocardial infarction. B. Pericarditis. C. Pneumothorax. D. Pulmonary embolism. The correct answer is D. Pulmonary embolism. In this case, the patient's symptoms prompted the consideration of a pulmonary embolism as a potential cause, and the positive D-dimer test further supported this suspicion. Also, lupus erythematosus increases the risk of developing deep vein thrombosis due to the hypercoagulable state associated, and subsequently, a pulmonary embolism. The sharp pleuritic chest pain is likely due to the irritation of the pleura caused by the pulmonary embolism. It is essential to note that pulmonary embolism can have a range of presentations from acute and life-threatening to chronic and recurrent, and the symptoms can evolve over time. CT pulmonary angiogram is the most accurate diagnostic test to diagnose a pulmonary embolism. This image shows a large pulmonary embolism at the bifurcation of the pulmonary artery. This is called a saddle embolism. Let's discuss the incorrect answers. While chest pain and shortness of breath can be symptoms of myocardial infarction, the pain associated is typically not pleuritic, and the ECG in this case shows no acute ischemic changes. The image shows an ST elevation in a case of myocardial infarction in the anterior leads. Pericarditis often presents with sharp chest pain that improves with sitting up and leaning forward, unlike the patient's symptoms. Furthermore, it does not usually cause shortness of breath unless it has progressed to cause pericardial effusion or tamponade, which are not suggested by this patient's physical exam. Pneumothorax may present with sudden onset sharp, pleuritic chest pain and shortness of breath, but typically, it is associated with acute trauma or invasive procedures, which are not mentioned in this case. The image represents an apical pneumothorax shown on CT scan and chest x-ray due to a rib fracture. And this is what you need to know about how a clinical case of pulmonary embolism may be presented in your exam. Follow us for more videos and don't forget our courses and ebooks. For more information about our courses and ebooks, visit our website.